But let's say you have a spring like this. And your spring can be in three different states. This is at rest, so it's a natural length of the spring. This is the spring being pushed down. So label the change in length as x. And your spring can be stretched up. And we'll label this change in length as x. The force required to hold the spring in a position x length away from its normal length is given by f equals kx. And we'll label this f with ext, which basically just means it's an external force being applied. And k is what we call the spring stiffness constant. Now this will change depending on the type of spring your problem has. And there's another force, it's called the restoring force. And we'll label this with Fs, which is the force of the spring. The force of the spring, because of Newton's third law, when you push down on the spring, it also pushes back with an equal and opposite reaction. This force that's pulling against your force is what restores the spring to its natural length after you let go. And this is simply just negative kx.